the power of your womb is indescribable. Doesn't it just feel good in this moment to be who you are? To know yourself, love yourself, and accept yourself, and take some time to connect to the power that is within you, to create healing, to create closure, to create your dream life. You're listening to the Reverend and High Priestess Tama Aziz Serwa, pioneer of the womb sauna and visionary behind the Heal Everything movement. And I just had to remind you today, just in case you forgot that there is nothing wrong with you, that whatever it is you may be experiencing in your body, in your bank account, in your love life, in your bed in the middle of the night when you're not getting sleep because you're feeling restless about what's happening in your life and if you're clear on your purpose, you have the capacity to change your perception at any given moment. That's actually what A Course in Miracles describes as a miracle, a shift in your perception. And why is that so important? Because the universe is so courteous with you that it is following your lead on what you can see for yourself. When will you see yourself getting some quality rest? When will you see yourself living your dream? When will you see yourself being adequate and enough? When will you see yourself as a phenomenal lover, the type that can be so potent and how you show up in the love experience that it does call in healing and transformation? Whatever story it is that you're telling yourself, your womb is listening, every cell, every organ, every bone in your body is being obedient to your current level of consciousness. And at any given moment, the same capacity that you're using to keep yourself at a certain level is the same capacity capacity that you can use to break through. You have the power. This is the dispensation of time for the divine feminine to usher in an equilibrium. This is why we are resonating with being in formation. This is why we are being more authentic and transparent about our pain than we've ever seen our mothers, grandmothers, aunties ever be. This is why we are so intrigued with things like yoni steaming and goddess rituals and the red tent movement and womb healing. Because your DNA knows and is working harmoniously with the cosmic shifts that are taking place on this planet. So your womb healing journey is not just about some fibroids, some infertility. No, this is about your life and your legacy. And if we tell the truth, if we would just really get honest, many of us have become mediocre in our way of life. We just are dreaming too small. And we come up with reasons to support our stagnation instead of come up with reasons to break through and move forward. But this is just a reminder that the same way You can find fear within your consciousness. You can also find faith. The same way you can find fatigue, you can also find willpower. Everything is within you. You are just like the most high. You can embody it all. As a woman, you can create one of the most powerful things on this planet, a human being. You can create brain matter. You can create organs, a human being. You can also create fear and you can also create faith. So maybe this is no longer about your feelings. And maybe you should stop living according to your feelings. Maybe you should live according to your truth. 
And you should create a very profound truth about who you are and your power. And let that be the foundation upon which you make your decisions for your life. My truth that I've shared many times in my videos and when I speak and I serve the world is that I am raw, unapologetic power. I am. I just recently had an event with a sister friend of mine and she wanted me to introduce myself to the folks listening. And I said, I could run through my bio and tell y'all all the things I've been educated in. I could give you that. And I do that sometimes. I said, but honestly, my truth is that I am raw, unapologetic power. And so everything that I have done and everything that I do is an extension of that truth. I don't work backwards. I don't work from the outside in. I live from the inside out. I wake up every day and I ask myself, okay, Tama, if your truth is that you are raw, unapologetic power, what will you do with your life today that will demonstrate that truth? What will you do with your resources? What will you do with your business? What will you do with your child? What will you do with your man? What will you do that is a demonstration of your truth? You listening right now have an opportunity to change your life simply by shifting your perception of yourself. If you have been on this journey of womb healing and you still don't know who you are and how to live from that truth, then your work is incomplete and you're not healing your womb. You are participating in very healthy activities, programs, and probably even lifestyle changes, but you ain't getting to the root. And if you want results, if you want a new experience, if you want to bring that child through, if you want to have your body transform, get clear that you got to be ready to tell the truth. And some of the stuff you're saying about yourself and your limitations and what you think are your obstacles are lies. And those lies have taken root in the way you live and the way your body is currently. So here's what's beautiful about that. The power is in your hands and you get to reset everything attached to who you are, your life, your being, what you decide to give the world. You get to reset all of that with a simple decision. Your yes to shifting your perception and creating a better narrative about who you are is enough. Because once you get that foundation laid, now you know upon which you stand. Now you know what your decisions are based upon. It's not based upon what the doctor said about your womb and needing a hysterectomy. It's not based upon your fear of, am I going to ever be able to conceive because I'm in this certain age group? No, it's based upon your truth about who you are. I have literally worked with women. My mother is one of them who in the face of science, in the, in the face of physical evidence being in front of them, was able to change the experience because their truth about themselves was that sound. That's even a part of my testimony with my journey into motherhood. When all of the odds were stacked against me, I had no evidence in my physical body nor my life to, to give me hope that I was fertile and would be able to conceive my daughter on my own. But what I did know was the God within me. And what I did know is that nobody else's truth about what they saw about me 
would override my truth about what I see within me. Wake up. We are going into a space where leaning on your past will become very obvious that it's a crutch. And there's not going to be a whole lot more accommodation for the lies we tell ourselves, my sisters. Because the Divine Mother is here and she is releasing her full glorious self into every part of us that has forgotten that we are the vessel chosen to embody her power. Wake up. Get over the excuses. Get over your past. Get over your fears. And if you're not living the life you want, know that you are powerful enough to do something about it. And once you recognize that you are powerful enough to do something about it, when you're done listening to my voice, go do something about it. And then comment on the video and tell me what actions you're taking to transform your life. I love you. I see you. I feel you. And I know you. And you are powerful beyond measure and you have the capacity to heal everything in your life. And it is my prayer that when you're done listening to my voice, that you start doing just that. So all of you who are connected to my YouTube channel, you know how to find me and stay connected. I am at thewombsana.com. We're on pretty much on the majority of social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can find me there, follow and connect with me. Um, and I do hold space for women who are ready to be witnessed in transforming their lives and they want support. And so you can always set up a one-on-one -on -one with me uh, for an hour if you don't uh, want to book it directly through our website, you just want to have a conversation, you can call my team and my assistant will make sure that she can answer your questions about working with me. And I just love you. And I wanted to remind you that you got the power. So with that being said, I got uh, things to demonstrate in my life too. So I need to get up off this mic and get back to being who I am. But I just love you and had to encourage you to do what you know and be who you know you are. So, peace.